In this question, we have to evaluate the integral of this function. Our integral is integral x into x plus x square square root into dx. This is equal to half into integral 2x minus 1 plus 1 into this is equal to half into integral x plus 2x plus 1 minus 1 into x plus x square square root into dx. This is equal to half into integral 2x plus 1 into x plus x square square root minus half into integral x plus x square into dx. Now let I1 is equal to integral x plus x square square root into dx. Then I1 is equal to integral x plus half the whole square minus 1 by 4 square root into dx. Let x plus half is equal to half sec theta. Then dx is equal to half into sec theta tan theta into d theta. Using this substitution, our integral becomes this is equal to integral half sec theta the whole square minus 1 by 4 square root Into half into sec theta into tan theta into d theta. This is equal to 1 by 4 into integration c square theta minus 1 into sec theta into tan theta into d theta. This is equal to 1 by 4 into integral sec theta into tan square theta into d theta. Now to evaluate integral sec theta into tan square theta into d theta. We use integration by parts that is this is equal to sec theta tan theta into tan theta into d theta. 
this is equal to sec theta into tan theta minus integral sec theta into sec square theta into d theta. This is equal to sec theta tan theta minus integral sec theta into 1 plus tan square theta into d theta. This is equal to sec theta into tan theta minus integral sec theta into d theta minus sec theta into tan square theta into d theta. Rearranging times we get 2 into integral sec theta into tan square theta into d theta is equal to sec theta into tan theta minus log sec theta plus tan theta mod plus c1 where c1 is a constant. This is equal to sec theta is equal to 2 into x plus half. Therefore, 2 into x plus half into 2 into x plus half whole square minus 1 square root minus log x plus half two into x plus half plus two into x plus half the whole square minus one square root plus C1. This is equal to two X plus one into 2 into x square plus x square root minus log two into x plus half plus 2 into x square plus x square root plus c1 this is equal to 2 into 2x plus 1 2x square plus x square root minus low x plus half plus x square plus x square root mod minus 
log 2 plus c1 this is equal to 2 into 2x plus 1 x square plus x square root minus log x plus half plus x square plus x square root mod plus c2 where c2 is another constant substituting the integral i2 becomes i2 is i1 is equal to One by eight into two into two x plus one into x square plus x square root minus log x plus half plus x square plus x square root plus c3 where c3 is another constant Therefore, our integral becomes integration x into x square plus x square root into dx is equal to half into integral 2x plus 1 do x square plus x square root into dx minus half into 1 by 8 into 2 into 2x plus 1 x square plus x square root minus log x plus half plus x square plus x square root mod plus c4 where c4 is another constant this is equal to here 2x plus 1 is the derivative of x square x, x square plus x so we can write half into 2 by 3 into x square plus x the whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 8 into 2x plus 1 x square plus x square root minus plus 1 by 16 into log x plus half plus x square plus x square root plus 
plus C4. This is equal to 1 by 3 into x square plus x the whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 by 8 into 2x plus 1 into x square plus x square root plus 1 by 16 log x plus half plus x square plus x square root mod plus c where c is a constant of integration and that is our final expression for the integral. This is our final answer.